So, hello, Richard. <laughs> uh, Richard. So, uh, I was going to ask you. Uh, so, do you do 3D printing uh, as a hobby, or uh, is it uh, has it become part of your job already? Or? It, it's still mainly as a hobby, but I do more and more 3D printing uh, all the time. So. Um, my, my day job is an electronics engineer, so I still do that, and I still do a lot of uh, a lot of product development and all sorts of things. And I use three D printing in my day job as well, but in a professional capacity. So it's uh, product development and um, uh, prototyping, and all the usual things, using professional machines as well as small machines. But yeah, my uh, my hobby, my three D printing hobby, sort of goes on when I get home and when I have time. That's the idea I had. Like yeah, from reading your so blog, it seemed like a personal I, I, passion more yeah, than a job. So. Absolutely, yeah. I love sharing uh, the ups and downs because the failures are just as important as oh, the yeah. successes. <laughs> and uh, and it's really good to just uh, try and help with the, the whole tool chain, the whole whole thing through 3D printing. So because a lot of people struggle from just learning how to model, and you, you, there's only a, a certain number of things you can download from Imagine and print off before you have to really decide you're going to have to stop. Thank God modeling. you mentioned you Imagine like. All the people just <laughs> focus on Thingiverse, and yeah. they don't they don't remember what no, Makeover did. But yeah, you imagine it's fantastic. It's get, yeah. getting a really good community of people and uh, great projects on there. So all my new stuff I share on there as well. I share as much as I can. But um, yeah, a, a lot of the things I'm working on at the moment are along similar lines to a lot of people talking today. That uh, they're multi-materials, mm. multi-extrusion uh, systems, and ways to actually find convenient ways to tool change. So, because like CNC machines have been able to tool change multiple tools for many years, oh, yeah. and 3D printers have not really got to that point yet. Uh, as you were saying just a minute ago, that the, the problem we have with dual extruder machines just make a real mess of most prints. So, we're seeing better machines coming out that have independent extruders, and uh, a lot of the work I've been doing in the last six months or so has been focusing on trying to get mixed materials and different composite materials in one print. So mm. nylons and TPU rubbers and PLAs and ABS is all in the same print so you can do things. Um, we've just come out of the medical conference with the prosthetic side and that, that's one of my areas I'm sort of focusing on at the moment to try yeah, and get I reckon more the, more. The, the prosthetic hands they have shown there, uh, they print them in one piece. I think they were using two materials, like a flexible one combined with a um, solid one. I, I think. That's the way to go for... Absolutely, and probably the need even for maybe three materials, sort of carbon fiber, really strong outside, mm. a rigid bone-like structure, maybe using nylons, and then and then uh, TPU rubbers for the fingertips and other mm. softer components that you want to have, a bit more tactile, smooth feedback, and then maybe even another one to get an overall coating that looks a little bit more sympathetic yeah. instead of just being a bit... A bit garish, so yeah. There's more and more need for being able to mix those materials together. So I think that's a that's a good thing. I've also been working with resins; they've been quite fun. Oh, yeah. It's a resin printer, but very messy uh, as well. Very messy, very messy, but it's quite quite interesting. We see a lot more at the show today. A lot more resin printers, so there's quite a popularity with that sort of thing. It's the high detail, high resolution side. Uh, so I will be posting and blogging a lot more. I just got to catch that's up. Awesome to hear. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks for this brief interview, I guess. But, okay. uh, yeah, thanks a lot. No